สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy k i t i d a m Let's go see what activities were held at some of the meditation centers worldwide for locals to come together to practice meditation and learn about Buddhism. g a l y a n a m i t Ben Prashad Desha, who is studying for a master's degree at Northeastern University, arranged a meditation class for her 20 classmates from seven different countries. On Thursday, May 17, 2018, her professor set a period of time for their students to try meditation as part of the class on that day. It began with a lecture on the benefits of meditation and its effect on the leadership and organization development. The lecture was consistent with the subject, the organizational leadership. Then they meditated together and were impressed with it very much. They were peaceful and more relaxed by the meditation. The professor admired this activity and wanted to organize such activity again. Her classmates became interested in meditating at the temple also. The d h a m m a k a i Meditation Center, Tennessee, arranged a one-day retreat for locals on Saturday, May 19, 2018, where there were 13 participants. In the morning, the teaching monk taught basic meditation, how to place their minds for peace, calmness, and getting the benefits of meditation. Then they took 30 minutes to meditate together. When the morning activities were over, all the participants offered meals to the monks and had lunch together. In the afternoon, the teaching monk taught the importance of meditation in l o n g p u Wat Bak Nam's greatest rediscovery of the center of the body. Then they meditated together for 45 minutes, and then the teaching monk taught walking meditation and let them try walking meditation for themselves. The participants also blew soap bubbles to learn how to place their minds gently. In the evening, the teacher monk answered the questions about meditation, and they spent 20 minutes to meditate together. After that, they lit candles to spread loving kindness and peacefulness they got from the meditation to the world. Finally, they took a group photo together. Some of them revealed that they meditated and were very peaceful, so they would continue to meditate at home and would come back to the d h a m m a k a i Meditation Center, Tennessee, again. There was a Japanese meditation retreat at the Thai Buddhist Meditation Center in Japan on Sunday, May 20, 2018. The teacher monk taught Dhamma on the topic of the simplest way to change the others. Sometimes we meet a problem and think, why is it the way it is? This kind of thought makes us depressed and may lead us to trouble. The simplest way to solve this problem is to adjust our mind. The best solution is meditation because it supports our good habit and helps ba- balancing our mind. When our mind is balanced, we would actually understand everything. After that, they meditated together for 45 minutes. While they were meditating, the teaching monk kindly introduced how to relax from the work stress according to the Buddha's Dhamma and how to place their mind softly, comfortably, and consciously. Finally, the teaching monk suggested to the participants to apply the meditation in their daily lives. The participants were impressed with this retreat and would come back to meditate again. On the evening of Friday, May 18, 2018, the teaching monk from the Thai Buddhist Meditation Center in Japan traveled to Joinji Temple in Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan, in order to teach meditation to the Japanese locals. There were 15 participants and some of them were newcomers, so the teaching monk talked about Dhamma with them to familiarize them with this term. He found that some of them meditated regularly, some were interested in meditation, and some like the Thai lifestyle and want to meet Thai people and Thai monks. After evening chanting, they meditated together for 20 minutes following the teaching monk's voice. The participants were very peaceful. After the meditation session, some of them felt more peaceful and felt good with the retreat, and if they have another chance, they will join the activities again. On May 20th, 2018, Anshi Thai Massage in Wapatamagai, Tokyo, organized a meditation class in English for the locals. There were 22 people who participated in this class. A special thank to the venerable monks from Wapatamagai, Tokyo, who taught the participants about meditation and how to relax the mind. 
And those are just some activities that were organized recently. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Long Pao Tama Shiyo from the book Pearls of Inner Wisdom. Earnest Striving Often, when something good is close at hand, we don't make much effort to benefit from it. We procrastinate and waste our time on less useful things instead. This is why we need to observe ourselves to make sure our minds are truly progressing on the path towards nirvana. Are we really striving for nirvana in earnest? Once we lose touch with our goal, our efforts will become erratic. The quality of our inner experience will tell us if we are really cultivating our minds at the center of the body. This was sent October 26, 1996. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for this week. As a gentle reminder, Visa Katbusha Day for the year 2018 is just around the corner on Tuesday, May 29, 2018. Stay tuned here to GBN for the live broadcast throughout the whole day. And don't forget to follow the World Peace News at Damakaya.net. And that's all the time we have for this week. I will see you again next week. Swadiha.